welcome back to my channel in today's video i'm going to be going over this 2021 ram 1500 limited long corn edition here this is the 10th anniversary so we're going to talk about the interior once we get inside it does have a brown on brown interior which looks really good but i would like to give a special thanks to dateland chrysler jeep and ram for providing me with the ram 1500 if you're gonna market for a ram you can come check out dateland chrysler jeep and ram but let's start off underneath the hood here of the ram 1500 once i open up the hood it reveals ram's 5.7 liter Kemi V8. This is hooked up to the e-torque system. Fuel economy here is rated at 17 in the city, 22 on the highway, and 19 combined. This makes 395 horsepower, 410 pound-feet of torque, and it's hooked up to an 8-speed automatic transmission. As the Ram 1500 sits here, it weighs 5,400 pounds, and Ram says you can tow 8,040 pounds with a payload of 1,600 pounds. But shedding the hood here of the Ram 1500, I do like the white with the brown exterior here. I like the large chrome grille. There's the RAM name spelled out with the front facing camera. These headlights here, they're gonna be a matrix style design with an automatic low and high beam with an LED turn signal with an LED daytime running light. I like the way these headlight modules look. And down here, RAM does throw in LED fault lights here. There's front parking sensors. I do like these chrome recovery hooks here with the brown uh, panels here around the vehicle, which is really nice. This grille is enlarged. I like the way that it looks. But I want you guys to comment down below in the comment section and tell what you guys think about the Ram 1500. Looking at the side profile, let's start out with these tires and wheels here. These are a 285 45 tire. They're wrapped in this 22 inch rim design. I do like the silver with the brown inserts here. This is one of the best rim designs that I have seen on a Ram 1500. Looking here, there's the 1500 Hemi e torque badge. Like I mentioned, from underneath the hood, this does have the e torque system. There's this chrome mirror cap here with this LED sight marker. And here, there's the Ram with the limited Longhorn Edition badge there. And up top, Ram does offer this large panoramic sunroof. The wheelbase for the Ram 1500 here is at 144.5 inches with an overall length of 232.9 inches and this also has a five and a half foot bed. Looking at the rear, let's start out with these tail lights here. They're a full LED, a turn signal, brake light, and reverse light. This does have the blind spot monitoring integrated into the tail light housing here. There's the 4x4 badge. There's the RAM emblem right here. That's also the limited Longhorn Edition badge there. Looking down here, there's rear parking sensors. There's LED lights for the tag. That's the 7 and 4 pin connectors here. And RAM says you can tow 8,040 pounds here on the Longhorn Limited Edition. Kicking this from underneath the truck here. It's a step so you can access the bed a little quick just in case you want to drop something inside instead of letting down the tailgate here. But pushing the step back underneath the truck here, this does have dual tip exhaust. And this also has a multifunction tailgate so you can open up this, the doors like a barn door here, which is really cool. So if you have longer or, longer or heavy items, you can put them in the bed. This also has LED lights back here with tie down hooks. This also has a spray in bed also with some tracks. So if you want to tie some stuff down, you can do so as well. Closing this back here. And this does open like a traditional uh, tailgate, of course. So just in case you want to sit and have a tailgate party, you can definitely do so. And this is a five and a half foot bed. Sitting inside the interior of the Ram 1500 Limited Longhorn Edition. This is the 10th anniversary. As you guys can see here, Ram does give you this plaque here on the center armrest. It's from the year 2011 to 2021. That's 10 years, of course. The plaque does feel very nice to touch. Real metal trim. Looking at this interior, you guys know Ram does one of the best interiors in the business. I'm loving this brown on brown interior here on the Limited Longhorn, but shutting the door here of the Ram 1500. To start up the vehicle, of course, you guys know Push, but push the button right there. You guys are greeted by this uh, graphic here which says Longhorn 10th edition there. Of course, if you guys know, Ram does not do a full LCD display just yet. If you guys are looking for that, you have to look at the other competitor, which is the Ford F-150, but they keep it simple with the analog gauges for the RPM and also for the speed. And you can customize this LCD display via this pad here. Looking at the door panel material, is going to be a real leather with some stitching. There is two person memory seats here. This also has the Harman and Kardon sound system, which is a 19 speaker, which sounds pretty good. There's this aluminum door handle here. It is automatic up automatic down only for the driver and passenger not for the rear windows there's some aluminum trim here on the door panel i like the stitching here which is which looks really nice this area is going to be nice and padded down here is going to be a shelf and some additional storage the headlight controls are here dimmer switches there's electronic parking brake if you're short like myself ram does give you these adjustable pedals so there's no need to slide the seat all the way up to the steering wheel when they give you the give you these adjustable pedals here the steering wheel here surprisingly it's a manual tilt and telescoping here 
Surprisingly, there's no power uh, tilt telescoping, but there's the wind wiper internal signal stock. Looking at the stern wheel controls here, this is how you cycle through this LCD display here. So you can show you different stuff like your driver's assistance, the off-road page, uh, vehicle information and whatnot. There's the answer and hang up option with the voice command. I do like the RAM emblem here on the airbag cover. There's those that have the driver's assistance, which is the adaptive cruise control, which is really nice. You can cycle through the eight speed automatic automatic via these controls here switching this rotary dial to the right here looking at the backup camera it does reveal a top down 360 view very nice resolution backup camera and there's different angles around this large pickup truck that you can see around so there's really no blind spots here it does offer three level heated and cool seats with a heated stern wheel function there which is really nice switching over to the right here putting into drive like i mentioned you can cycle through the eight speed automatic via these controls here there's no paddle shifters on the back of the steering wheel it's just basically the rocker panels here to change uh, the volume or sync or track but putting it back into park here like i mentioned this is a push button start uh, this does have the four by four system which is a four auto two wheel drive four low and a four high this is how you de defeat the automatic start stop function there's the trailer brake control here this also have the trailer stir assist so you get if you guys have a trailer this thing will basically uh go left or right looking here there's a tow haul mode you can turn off the, par the parking sensors front and rear there's the stability control. This does have two USB-Cs with two USB ports. My iPhone 12 Pro Max does fit, and this area here is very large. You can slide this back and forth if you like. There's a wireless phone charger there. Looking at the key fob here, I do like this key fob with the nice bronze here on the sides and back. There's a lock unlock. You can also lower the tailgate. There's a remote start. The key does feel nice and sturdy in my hands here. There's some real wood trim here on the dashboard. As you guys can see, it's stamped the limited Longhorn Edition there on the uh, glove compartment there. Open up this, it does reveal a storage with is lined with felt in, in the inside. This does have a rear view camera mirror, which I think is a nice touch. So if you guys want to look at the traditional mirror, you can pop it like that, which is really nice. The Chevy offers that, and this one does have a head of display as well, which shows nice, uh, crisp and clear. I'm not sure if the GoPro is picking it up. Up top is gonna to be LED lights throughout the cabin. There's the three car garage remote there. And above me, there's this large, a uh, panoramic sunroof here to let light into this cabin. This brown on brown interior is really nice. The glove compartment down here is a very large, like I mentioned, this does offer three level heated and cool seats. These seats are for a rider frame person. I do like the suede Alcantara, just like on the door panels, you get that, you get that as well. Like I mentioned, this pack does tell you what trim that you have, which is the Longhorn uh, Limited Edition, which is the 10th anniversary. Open up this, it does reveal a decent amount of storage with a USB port in there. It's lined with felt also. Lifting this up, it does reveal more storage so this area here is filled with a lot of storage. You can close this off. Very nice uh, wood here on the uh, cup holders. I mean, coin holder here. So you wanna put some coins and stuff in there. You can definitely do that. There's two cup holders here, but overall, oh, this is a very nice interior. I do like the brown on brown and Ram is killing it with the technology in this truck from the rear view camera mirror to the heads of display. But let's hop into the back seat of the Ram 1500. So getting into the back seat here of the Ram 1500, as you guys can see, this has one of the nice interiors that I've seen on the Ram 1500. Lifting up the seat here, there's some underfloor storage here. You can also fold this compartment down if you would like. But getting back here, Ram does equip this 1500 here with running boards. So if you're short like myself, you can get into this big old pickup truck. There's also this nice grab handle here, shutting the door here. The materials are carried over from the front to the rear. That's your own set of rear air vents back here. There's three level heated and cool seats, which is a nice touch. The cool seats work really good, of course. Here in this summer weather here in uh, Miami, there's gonna be two USB ports with two USB-Cs, a nice shelf here for storage. I like the wood trim, there's two cup holders. Also like this cowboy-like theme in this truck. Above me, there's this large panoramic sunroof here. You can also recline the seat. This is the only pickup truck in the segment that you can recline the uh, back seats here. And Ram says you get 45.2 inches of legroom. That's also the most uh, legroom here in the segment. Pulling this down here, it does, Reveal two cup holders and a nice area to put some storage and whatnot. But overall, the Ram 1500 has a large back seat. So starting off with the 2021 Ram 1500 Limited Longhorn Edition. This is the 10th anniversary, like I mentioned. So this does have a nice interior. I do like the brown on brown. There's some nice leather in here with some suede Alcantara. The visibility of the Ram 1500 is, of course, just like every other pickup truck in the segment, great visibility. This also has a heads-up display. I do like this rear view camera mirror. So if you guys don't like the rear view camera mirror, you can just flip it on or off to your liking but me personally i'll leave it on because i think that's some really cool tech in this pickup truck here the visibility like i mentioned is great large uh, side mirrors here it does have blind spot monitoring 
This does have adaptive cruise control, so this thing will stop and go for you in rush hour traffic. This does offer the 12 inch Uconnect 4 system. It's not the Uconnect 5 system, but it's a really good system. It does support Apple CarPlay and Android Auto. The seats in here, um, I do kind of find it hard to get adjusted to get adjusted here in the seats because they're for a wider frame person but they do offer three level heated and cool seats here in miami the weather is becoming summertime so it's going to be extremely hot and right now it's like 90 degrees outside if i'm not mistaken no it's 86 i'm sorry but these cool seats in here they work phenomenal they're very cold they get you really cool really fast and i like the i like that some trucks it takes a takes a few minutes for them to get cold in a sense but this does have the 5.7 liter hemi v8 which makes 300 and 95 horsepower, 410 pound feet of torque, and it's paired with a eight speed automatic transmission. If you guys are looking for a 10 speed auto, you have to look at the Ford and the Chevy because they offer the 10 speed automatic transmission. And Ram says this can tow 8,040 pounds with a payload of 1,600 pounds. I think the Ram 1500 is a handsome truck, but my pickup truck to, to go for will be the Silverado because it looks more aggressive in a sense. The Ram, don't get me wrong, it looks really good as well. But this truck right here, um, it handles, even though it's a pickup truck, there is some body roll here going on these back roads here. But you're not going to be really tack tackling the back roads like this. This also rides on 22 inch rims, and this does uses a five link uh, a coral spring suspension instead of the leaf spring suspension like the other competitors in the segment. So this does ride the best out of the Ford and the Chevy and also the Nissan Titan as well because those trucks uh, uses a leaf spring instead of a coral suspension. So this does ride really smooth. And I have no complaints. If you guys are looking for a different powertrain, uh, you can get a three liter V6, which offers 260 horsepower and 480 uh, pound feet of torque. And that does get better fuel economy compared to this one. This one gets 17 in the city, 22 on the highway and 19 combined. So really good fuel efficiency from uh, from this powertrain here. If you guys go for the V6, of course it's gonna be better because that's the eco diesel, of course. So you know, it's, it's gonna have a lower red line as well. So you're gonna feel that torque at a lower uh, RPM compared to this one. But honestly, I have no complaints from this 1500. This truck rides extremely well, has one of the best interiors in the business out of the Chevy and the Ford. Uh, in my honest opinion, this does have that 12 inch display like I mentioned. But just driving here, and when you put your foot down a little bit, this truck will get up and go and the HP automatic is very responsive with this powertrain here so i have no complaints from the powertrain aspect uh the driver's assistance is really good like i mentioned adaptive cruise control four collision warning blind spot monitoring so ram does keep you and your family safe and it does have one of the biggest back seats in the segment at 45.2 inches of legroom so if you're looking for a large uh back seat here in the pickup truck segment you have to go for the ram 1500. So after spending time with the 2021 Ram 1500 Limited Longhorn Edition here, starting price here for the 1500 is at $55,780 with the options and accessories, including destination, the Ram 1500 sticks for $76,800. And nineteen dollars. Hope you guys have enjoyed this review. Be sure to follow me on Instagram at Drive One Reviews and hit that subscribe button. And I see you all in the next video.